I love it when a question starts with be honest. <laughs> so be honest. How important is the audio production quality in relation to your technology's platform? Is it as valuable as the UI design, dev, QA, teams, or less? So Ash was talking about uh, some of the, the audio design pipeline uh, at Anki, and it was interesting that I was noting how um, what she was talking about is actually really uh, unique at Anki because um, you know people say audio is 50%. Some, some famous guy said that, right? Uh, but it's actually not true. My experience is always in 5%. Um, <laughs> It's like five percent is audio, um, and but but at Anki, uh, it it really is different. And I, I'll go on a limb and said that we drive a lot of these initiatives. Like we, she said, like you, it was really funny because you were sort of consciously kind of or unconsciously kind of like uh, revealing a pipeline. But we pick the music first before there's any sort of initiative. Yeah, then art, then they follow. Like we make the button sounds and they make the buttons around our sounds, uh, uh, just because. Uh, we want you to focus on our physical objects that we're developing you know, for for now and for future products. And so, um, so to answer that question, um, it's it's one of the pillars in Anki. Like audio is extremely important, and we're building entire strategies around audio. Uh, and so it's it's very exciting to see. Uh, uh, you know, so I really can't complain anymore about the five percent. You know, so comes with that. Uh, um, a grave responsibility. So, um, you know, we hired our second uh, audio engineer. I've never been at a studio. We had two and two audio dedicated audio engineers for for like two, three sound designers. You know, and so uh, we're very serious. And and we have, you know, that's all they do is audio programming. Um, you know, you'd be hard fought to plant, find one of those guys at a large studio. Um, so, um, you know, and we're developing new pl like custom plugins for wise. Brian, you know? when, when you say audio engineer, are you talking like a technical sound designer? Somebody who's worked? No, no, we're talking about a C++ like full. All right. So they're coding and they're oh, yeah. actually oh, building they're scripts yeah. and working to develop components of. App, and you would have to, right? Because mm -hmm. if the, if, because our engineers are, are all, all three of our co-founders are PhD, you know, robotics engineers. And so uh, the thing about audio programming is that it's one thing for technical sound designers, but they have to touch the code, like our base station. And if you're going around and goofing stuff up, it's kind of like you can just bring the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. So we need somebody with incredibly robust technical background, as well, well as, uh, as a tremendous passion for audio. Very difficult to find. Uh, we're really lucky to have two great guys that, that work, work for us. And um, so just, to, it was an interesting thing. So it's absolutely important. We're really lucky to have it. And, and the more we prove that uh, in, in our aesthetic interpretation, uh, in fact, that entire audio experience in Overdrive was uh, a direct copy of a previs that I did when I got to the company. It was just like, I think it should just be this way and we should have this kind of stuff and maybe caster and commentators and maybe some crowd sounds. and. Uh, and so now uh, Ashley is doing the same thing with our next iteration. She's building previs. She's we're initiating uh, um, uh, uh, meetings and design and all that. So um, very important. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at PureMind.com. <laughs>